Good evening everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm out here at the campsite. We do have the new uh, fridge slash freezer from Bodega. This is the TWW75. Also have it hooked to the Blue Eddy EB70 to power it with. Uh, I have not checked this thing out totally yet. So we're gonna bring the camera up here closer where we can look at the features. Okay, so just a little bit about this thing. It runs off of 12 to 24 volts. Uh, it also comes with an AC adapter, which is 110 to 240 volt. A few other cool things about this one is, instead of being uh, one big cooler like most of them, this thing is actually two compartments. So we have one side that's smaller, which would be more like a freezer compartment. And we have one side that is a lot larger, which would be more like stuff to store for refrigeration. And you can swap it so you can actually put your freezer part over here. You can have your refrigeration over here because there is two different zones of cooling. You can adjust each one individually. You can adjust this down to freezer or this to fridge, or you can set this one as fridge and adjust this down to freezing temperature. Also has these nice latching handles that come up and each one of these lids are removable and you can actually just put it on the other side here and change the direction. Depending on where you put it in your camper or your truck, whatever RV, you can adjust this door around to whichever way you want. So really nice, they both, both sides does come with a nice uh, metal basket. So this TWW75 here is 75 liter, 2.7 cubic feet. Temperature range on this is, uh, you can set either zone, minus four degrees Fahrenheit to plus 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The dimensions of this thing is 32.5 inches by 18.2 inches by 20.9 wide. A uh, real nice thing about it too is it has these wheels and also on this end it has a handle. And then on this end it has a handle that just releases out like this. So you can just raise it up and roll this unit wherever you want to go. So that makes it real nice when you got a, a big fridge, freezer like this, clip it back in, it's still, it locks right back in. That way you can move it around if it's got a lot of weight in it. Right now it's actually empty. So on this end here, you can see that we do have this handle here to help assist in lifting it. Also, we have this plug right down here. This is where we plug in our 12 to 24 volt DC plug. Right now I have the lighter adapter plug connected to it. Right here is actually where you can just plug a solar panel in directly. All right, I got this tape measure here so we can actually measure the dimensions of the inside of this box. It's actually really large. What we got in the width is about 15 inches. And then we got about 13 inches this way. And then our depth looks like it's about 14 inches. So really nice size box here. We'll measure this freezer side over here. So over here we have, of course, 15 by 13, which is the same. And then our depth over here is about six inches. So on this freezer side here, you can see that it has this raised spot. And that's because your refrigeration unit the compressor is underneath this part right here. So it actually is deeper on this side, which is gonna be about the same as the other one. So 14 to 14 and a half inches. And then of course, both sides does have a removable drain plug, which is nice. So you can drain it out if you was to spill something. It's not like a uh, unit, a normal cooler that you have ice in. You don't have ice melting, but you could spill something in it or something else and you wanna drain it. So that's a real nice feature. And both sides does have LED lights inside the door. Inside this box here is, of course, the manual was in here, the AC uh, adapter plug, and the DC 12 volt lighter plug adapter, which I'm using right now. And then, of course, on the fridge side is exactly the same way. It does have a drain inside, so you can drain it, and it also has a large removable basket. So you can put all your stuff in there, pull it out with just at one time all with this basket. Uh, around this, it does have a real nice rubber seal around this to seal it to help keep it cool. All right, so up close on our display, you can see here we have the USB plug that we can plug in like our iPhone or something to charge it. Of course, by turning it off and on, hold it down to turn it off. If you wanna turn it back on, just hold the, touch the power button. Okay, when you're ready to turn it back on, just touch the power button one time comes back on the compressor will start up what we have displayed here is our 
temperature zones. This one on this side, you can see by this little icon that this is the large part, which is this side here, the refrigerator. On this side is the freezer part. You can see the small little icon corner here. That means that's the freezer side. It also displays our voltage. We're putting in there 12.2 volts DC right now, and we're set to Fahrenheit. And now to change the temperature on this, all we have to do is hit this plus, and you can see that we're set at 30 degrees. We're gonna leave it set at 30. If you hit the settings, it swaps over to the other side, which is the, you can see I'm in this icon, so I'm at the freezer side. I have to push this again, it only stays on so long. Okay, now we're on the freezer side and we're set at 10 degrees. So we can go down all the way down, it's set to minus four. And that's correct, it goes down to minus four. Should go all the way up to plus 68, I believe it said. Yes, so it maxes out at uh, plus 68 Fahrenheit. We're gonna go back down to 10 degrees on the freezer side and see how long it takes to get there. When your display stops flashing, uh, you can see it says max mode we're in right now. If we set this, if we click this setting, then we can go to eco. And eco is what you'll use once you get it down to temperature. Max mode is actually just going to run it on high to get this thing down uh, quicker on the temperature. So that's where we want to put it right now. And then once it does, we get everything cooled down, we can set it on eco mode to save energy. All right, as I said, I'm running this off the Blue Eddy EB70. This is a nice 700 watt power supply. It's got a lot of power to run this. Uh, you can see right here, right now we're drawing 66 watts, so not too bad. All right, so another thing to know is there is an app for this, so you can actually control it with an app off Bluetooth. And the app is called Car Fridge Freezer. You wanna go in there and make sure that we are connected on our Bluetooth after you download the app. Connect to this A1 here, so we're connected. And then once we open the app, you can see here it's showing 10 degrees is set on the right side, which is our freezer side. Click this, it's set to 30 degrees and you can see our voltage. Our current temperature inside here is 48 degrees, so it's actually dropping pretty fast because our ambient temperature outside is 88 degrees right now. Uh, right here you can adjust your temperature just by sliding this up and down, see if we can go all the way down to minus four. So it's a lot faster than pushing the buttons on the display, all the way up to 68. We'll put this back on where it was, the left side was on 30. And right here where you can select eco mode, take eco mode off, we're back in max mode. So it's pretty nice actually to have the app, you wouldn't actually need it because you can do everything from this here. So the app is something that's you know, like everything, it's kind of handy, but it's not something that you have to have. So our time is six o'clock right now. We're gonna see how long it takes to get this thing down. Uh, of course, like I said, it's already uh, 47 degrees in here on the refrigerator side. All right, so it is 6.22 p.m., it's been 22 minutes. We're at 29 degrees on this one, 22 on the freezer side. So this one's still dropping there, it's at 20 now. This one's at 30, so it's leveled out. That is incredible that it dropped all the way down that fast to 30 degrees in 22 minutes. And this one's at 20 degrees in 22 minutes. So this in here will be uh, down before long. We'll see how long it takes to get it down to 10 degrees like I got it set at. And you can see running right now that we are drawing 80 watts is what we're drawing right now. So it said that it's 90 watt, uh, 80 watts what it's drawing. So on the solar port right here, I have a 120 watt uh, solar panel and this thing is drawing about 80 watts shouldn't be no problem running it as long as we get uh, real real good sunlight uh, this the solar panel should run it uh, 200 watt solar panel would be great for this and run it with no problem so I'm not sure if you can actually hear this thing running but it is extremely quiet um, if you go over here by the compressor side I'll get the camera down here and you can probably hear it. So it's running, but it is really quiet. It's inside here. Oh yeah, it's nice and cold in there. No doubt about it. It won't take long. We'll be freezing some ice. We are already just in this much talking here. We're at 14 degrees. Touch the screen so you can see a little brighter. 
So yeah, we're at 14 degrees here, 31 here. So this is leveling off 30, 31, 29 in that area. We're down to 14, won't be long, we'll be at 10 degrees. Okay, I just heard the compressor kick off. Let's see what watch we're drawing now. Zero, so the compressor definitely shut off. Let's touch this here. We are at 32 degrees and nine degrees. And what time is it? 6.30, so 30 minutes to get down there is actually 29 minutes to get down to 10 degrees over here, 30 degrees, I got this one set on. That's pretty incredible to get down that fast. Now, that is what it got down to with nothing inside it. Now, if you put uh, warm bottles of water or whatever uh, food in there, it's gonna take longer to actually get that temperature down. So the next video, that's what we'll do. We'll do a test of load it up and see how long it takes to get the temperature down. All right, guys, so that is the Bodega TWW75. I'll put a link below to where you can pick one of these up. Uh, this is a super price you can get one of these out too for a 75 liter that's a big refrigerator it's a lot better than my small ones that i have also the blue eddy eb70 700 watt power supply to run it with so pretty good combination to take camping with you uh, in the next video on this i'm going to actually load this thing up with our drinks and food and see how long this blue eddy here will keep this thing cool thank you guys for watching woodsman adventures Please subscribe to my channel, click the thumbs up, catch y'all on the next one, right on.